Hey gang, Scott Davenport here and welcome to In The Field. Thanks for joining me today. On today's video, I turn away from the ocean, head east into the Southern California desert for a sunrise shoot. So it starts really early. You'll see in the video in a minute, the beginning parts are really dark and silhouetted, but you'll still get an idea of what's going on here. I, I went to photograph one of these metal sculptures that pepper the landscape around Borrego Springs. There's one uh, in particular, it's a serpent, really cool looking. Let's just get you out there, enjoy the field video, and come back in a couple of days and I'll share post-processing tips from one of the photos you'll see in today's video. That's it, enjoy, and I'll see you again soon. Dawn, I'm in Borrego Springs, and I'm going to shoot a thing that I've not done before. It's a metal sculpture that's weaved into the desert floor, and there's a bunch of them all around this area. I'm going to start this morning with the serpent. I get on over there, I do a little light painting on its on its head. There's nothing going on in the sky at all. It's completely empty, so this will be a uh, some like you know hopefully some inky blues as the sun just starting to show little bits of amber glow over the horizon uh, so i got maybe about uh, 30 to 40 minutes before we start seeing some actual sunlight on the desert all right so sun's coming up over there which means it's going to light up this side but i have to say the angle i first walked up on right here this is definitely more interesting. The tilt of the serpent's head is better here. And so that's gonna be in shadow. But if I do a little flash of light painting, that could work. Because yeah, these curves in this metal are really awesome. All right, let's, let's figure out how wide I gotta go here. So that actually is good. So low on the tripod. All right, that's probably a little bit too low. I'm making sure I get separation between the serpent and its uh, first hump in the back there. Let's just get a test shot. I don't need a lot of depth. F8 is giving me a 20 second exposure. Let's just do that with the ambient light and see what that does. All right. So getting the balance of the amount of light to flash on to the, the sculpture or it's not overpowering. Uh, I just did about a nine second exposure and lit it up for about three. That was too much. I want it to be a little bit dark and moody. So I'm gonna try again and just flash it with the light for a couple of seconds. Here we go. One, two, and let's see if that's enough. That's better. Now I think the next one, I'm not going to illuminate the whole of the face, I'm gonna, or the, the whole neck. I'm just gonna focus on the face with the light. So let's do that again. I'm already up to uh, six seconds. I'm gonna go down to a uh, F11. Just give myself more time to work. All right, so light's ready. Firing the shot. 13 seconds, maybe three seconds. One, two, three. And see what that does for me. the ambient light is rising the sun hasn't peaked yet but already that serpent is getting lit up and it's uh, it's a more compelling composition to use that light and see the parts of the body of the serpent rippling up and down into the desert floor there's several ridges it actually goes underneath and across the road behind me but uh, it's, a, it's a pretty cool shot so I need to grab a few of these while the lights good hang around until the Sun actually comes up over that horizon well, I've ended up changing the composition a couple of times, trying to go high with a tripod, trying to go low, 
and ultimately being a little bit lower so that serpent looks a little more menacing, that's working out to be better. So I'm gonna get my few other shots like that here and wait until the sun comes fully up, grab a few more. But uh, yeah, I do, I do like ultimately this being a little bit lower. So the camera's at about like maybe chest high looking up at this head. So it's got this more ominous feel to it and then seeing its body undulate and ripple out into the distance. You can see the composition right here and I'm continually having to adjust the exposure times. You can see that, that background, uh, it's even harder to tell on, uh, on the screen here, but it's a little bit of the horizon that's being blown out. But taking a step back, you can start to see I've got the serpent head and then these other two main parts of its body. You can see it actually goes off in the distance another one or two parts until it hits its tail, which is across the, the road that cuts through the desert here. But yeah, this is, uh, this is shaping up to be nice. I do wish there was a way that I could compose kind of as I'm moving to camera left to compress that space between the serpent's head and its first ripple, but you lose the angle on the serpent. You know, here where it's got its head cocked and tilted, you know, that's where it's got the attitude. And that's, uh, that's the, ultimately the, the main part of this, uh, of this photo. It's capturing this serpent's head. I need to tighten up the comp a little bit. But that's a nice, it's a nice profile. Just wish that gap, yeah, I wish that gap was a little less. Um, F11 is fine. That's actually a good sharp spot for my lens, so I'll, I'll take that. Uh, I do wish I had a little more uh, color going on in the sky. I mean, the blue is nice, and it'll be a nice offset to the, the rust of the serpent. But, uh, oh, alarm. It means it's almost time for sunrise proper. All right, the sun's about up over the horizon back there, so the hills behind the serpent are getting lit up pretty nicely. The uh, undulating body part, it's kind of dim right now, and without stuff up in the sky to anchor more of the, the photo and fill out the frame, it feels more like dead space as opposed to negative space. Maybe things will change when some color hits the, the actual serpent. For now, I'm gonna grab a few of these compositions, trying to get that nice looking uh, you know, golden hills behind it. All right, let's see here. Back it out a little bit, focus. Let's come up a little bit. It's like this rock was placed here for the sole reason to get in my way. <laughs> That's filling the frame better. That's good. Still have, uh, still have that upward angle on the serpent itself. So that feels nice. All right, that wow, light's really nice now. Just a couple more, and then there's not much of a there's not much of a reason to keep going uh, and taking 15 photos of the same thing over and over again. But uh, yeah, the, the the morning's nice. Well, let's see. We're gonna I think we might be calling it. I think I've got this one. I don't think there's anything else I need to capture here. I'd call that pretty successful, if not very short and lived. Wow, once that light comes up, it really washes out the color and the ripples in the land, the shadows are gone. Well, not the long shadows, I'm kind of looking up at the hill faces there. Yeah, oh, that's good though.